whole team at the, at the House, I think we've had something like 40 or 50 bills that are government reform bills. So when I'm talking about that, I'm talking about things like reducing the size of state government. There's a bill to reduce the size of government by 15%. We have bills to look at things like fleet management. Do we really have to have as many cars and vehicles as we do? And, and we find out that they're not even under control of one area. So we're looking at how we can reform, pull those things back together. We're looking at things like the rent that is charged that the agencies pay in these buildings. So we're looking at finding all sorts of ways to reform and, and really um, look at state government and uh, the operations and look for fraud, waste, and abuse. Another thing that I've been really intent on working on is bringing in technology to our state government and, as opposed to bringing in more workers. And one example, I have a bill on tax analytics, which what it is is you, you bring in technology to do the job of maybe state auditors that come in and harass everybody, the business owners, to pay more taxes. Instead of just harassing people who are already paying their taxes, how do we go after the people that aren't paying their taxes fraudulently? And that's whether it be the revenue or whether it be through Medicaid fraud, things like that. What we really need to do is not bring in more workers, which is what the Democrats want to do. They want to just hire more people and they have a larger bureaucracy. But really what we should be doing is leveraging technology so that we're actually in the 21st century. And by doing that, you save a lot of money, you find a lot of money, and you're shrinking the size of government. So that's one area. Another uh, thing that we've really been working on in our caucus and I've been personally working on is the idea that we have so many different agencies and commissions and boards that overlap and there's really no way to look at those and find out if they're still doing what they're supposed to be doing. So in the state government bill we passed what we call a sunset commission. They have one in Texas and they were, they've been able to save taxpayers almost a billion dollars in the last couple of decades that they've been uh, in operation. And so what the commission would do, and hopefully it will be signed by the governor, eventually is uh, it would have a, a group of citizens, about a dozen people, that would actually look at the Department of Health and the Department of Human Services and the 12 different health licensing boards and, and make those uh, agencies and boards come forward and say, you know, this is what we do, this is our mission. They have to prove what their mission is and that they're meeting that mission and they have to explain what they're doing different than the other agencies. So the whole point of the commission would be to look at these things and say, you know, it doesn't really make sense that we have a Department of Health, a Department of Human Services, Human Services, and 12 different licensing boards. This probably could be done in one agency. And so the idea is we need to look at this and have a mechanism to be able to do away with the, the duplicative services that we have in the state. And there are a lot of duplicative services. So that's just one area. Um, several different things going on. We're looking at things like even garbage collections. We really need to have state employees collecting garbage, is that something we can outsource? How about technology? Let's look at outsourcing technology. Because really fundamentally, I think that what we as Republicans believe is that before we would even consider raising taxes, we need to make sure that every single cushion is overturned and that we are as efficient as possible. And I cannot tell you that we are currently as, efficiently, as efficient as possible in the state of Minnesota. We have a long way to go. and so. What we are committed to doing in the House and the Senate is to get the, bit, the, the budget passed without raising taxes. We're going to live within our means, and we're going to do it. We're going to look and make sure that we're eliminating duplicative services, waste, fraud, and abuse. Because fundamentally, we believe that that's what you sent us there to do. And, and I have to say that in our caucus, and I know in the Senate as well, we have really been focusing like a laser beam on getting that done. And uh, Kurt has done a fabulous job in the House of leading us. Uh, making sure that we're living within our means and focusing on what needs to get done. And that first is the budget. And we need to make sure we get that passed. And then some of the other issues, too. So with that, I think I'll turn it over and uh, be happy to take questions after uh, the others speak. Who's next?